What's good YouTube, Drug Docs coming at you live with another video. Now today we're going to recap what I sold in a 24 hour period from 5 p.m. yesterday to 5 p.m. today. That is today's sales for me. And we sold a lot of shit, all right? Now we're going to start with eBay. Now eBay, the first thing we sold was this vintage Crest toothpaste snapback that I pulled from the Goodwill bins. Now this came out to, I think it was like a dollar. When I, Whenever I go to the bins, I take everything divide it by the price, by the number of items, and then put an average buy cost. So the profit I made on the Crest Snapback was $17. It's literally Crest Toothpaste Snapback, and I sold it. Like there was no previous sold comps on this. I literally just threw a price up and sold it. Like some things you can just sell like that. Now, I'm just gonna interrupt you. Peep the hat, this vintage Greg Norman strap. It's pretty fire. I'm digging it. It's got the shirt going across. Fire find for a buck that I picked up today. Same with this vintage Elvis t-shirt, 1999. Picked this up today. Fire shit. But anyways, we're gonna get back to it. So next thing we sold was these Nike ACG shoes. Now I got these at a church sale. Uh, ACG stands for all conditions gear. So anytime you see Nike ACG stuff, it's automatically gonna be worth some good money over the normal Nike stuff because you know it's more rare, more sought after, and you know some ACG stuff can fetch hundreds of dollars in resale if you find the right stuff like windbreakers or you know old ACG shirts or you know stuff like that. But I sold those for only a $7.37 profit. So I had free shipping on it. I sold it for $24.99 free ship. I only paid a quarter for these suckers at the church sale, so there's a lot of profit to be made. But the shipping was 15 bucks cuz it went all the way to California and that's the most expensive shipping for me. So you know, if it would have went to somewhere like local, like Minnesota or maybe down to like Illinois, you know, it would have been a better profit, but I think we can get $7 and 37 cents is still like a meal. So I'm taking it. Next was this vintage Julio Cesar Chavez. I think that's his name. I got this wholesale from the thrift Lord and I sold it for $69.99 free ship. Now this is one of the highest sold comps on any of his shirts. I priced high because I knew it was a dope shirt and I knew someone would pay for it. The other comps for his other shirts were like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, and I was like, dude, this shirt is sick. It's vintage, it's got a better tag, it's got a better design than some of these other ones, and I know it's gonna it's gonna fetch some more money. So I listed it on the high ends. That's a $57.17 profit on that shirt. Next, we had this vintage tailor-made visor. So I got this for literally 20 cents at a garage sale last weekend. And so this guy, I, I got five hats and he said he'd throw me a deal, a dollar for five hats. And this one was one of them, so it's 20 cents. I sold it for $39.99 free ship and it can't, gave me a profit of $31.05 after fees, shipping, buy costs, all that stuff. And that was literally 20 cents, it's just unheard of. And it sold within a few days, that's crazy. Then we sold this NFL electric football game so it's basically like a big electric board. You turn it on, you put players on there, it's like magnets, and then they move around. It's supposed to be like football. It didn't work that well. I had it since like February. Like this is a one that I kind of screwed up on. Probably shouldn't have gotten, but it sold anyways. And we made an $18 and $67 profit. The reason the shipping wasn't that much, I think it was like $15 shipping, was because it was literally two hours away. It was in the same city that I go and do uh, source for the bins. Next, we're gonna move on to Poshmark now. So starting with the sales, we sold this vintage Miller Lite racing snapback. I paid a dollar for this one and sold it for 15. That's an $11 profit after fees and buy costs. And this is a six snap. I actually wore it yesterday down when I went to the bins and sweat in it, but it, it didn't have any sweat stains on there, so it's all good. We sold these uh, Nike Team Hustle basketball shoes. They were size seven youth, like they weren't even adult. I picked them up because I saw some good comps and they were in good condition and I was confident I could sell them. I sold them for 20 bucks on Posh. Um, that comes to $16 after fees and a profit of $14 since I only paid two for them. Sold this vintage 90s Pepsi Cola crew neck. I got this at the same church sale as I got the other stuff and I sold it for 22 bucks. I had it up for 25 on Posh, got an offer for 18, counter to 22, boom, sold. Now this gives me a profit of $16.60. It had a nice old tag on there, nice old retro design and 
it was very clean. There was no flaws on it whatsoever, which gave it some good uh, resale as well. Then we sold this uh, vintage Harley Davidson Big Eagle graphic shirt. Sold it for 19 bucks, full price, no offers, just they just bought it full, full price. And I paid $4.50. This was a part of the, the 20 shirts I bought at one garage sale. Bought 20 shirts for 90 bucks. So that's an average buy cost of $4.50 a piece. But I've been selling all my hotcakes. They're good quality shirts and I'm glad I picked them all up. That was a profit of $10.70. I sold this Rodeo Panhandle Slim Western shirt. Sold it for 30 bucks. I had it up for 35, got an offer for 25, counter with 30, sold. It brings me a profit of $23.75. I literally only paid a quarter for the shirt, a quarter. I also got that from a chair sale. So those last four items, the Harley shirt, the Pepsi Cola, the Rodeo shirt, and the shoes, I literally sold all four of those items in 15 minutes. So look at that, 18 minutes, three minutes ago. 15 minute window, I sold four items for $65 profit. That was insane, it happened so fast. Like, um, it was just purchase, 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 purchase. I was like, oh shit. I was about to make a post and say like, yo, three items in like 12 minutes. And then as I was making that, another one sold. And I was like, yo, four items in 15. I was almost waiting to see if a fifth item would sell in like 20 minutes or something, just to get some more clout. And then finally we sold a vintage Ducks Unlimited crew neck locally to a friend. Shout out to Maddie. Uh, she paid 15 for it, which is actually a really good price. And I got it from the bins yesterday. And it was re really clean. I couldn't find any flaws on it. Maybe one little spot at the hem, but nothing nothing big at all. She always, she always comes up with uh, some of the good shit. She hops on the local stuff fast. So when I'm posting on like Instagram or Snapchat, she's on it and she picks it up quick. That's why she gets good prices. She's a good customer. Those are the people you want to keep around because they support you when um, nobody else will sometimes. So shout out to them. Always keep those people in your circle. So that brought me a profit of $13.81. Total profit we made today was $220.72. Now this is not normal for me. I, it will become normal for me eventually. And especially going into Q4, uh, I have a ton of coats. I say this every fucking video. Look at them all. If you're new here, I have a lot of coats and sweatshirts and I am so ready for uh, for Q4, which is October, November, December to come in with all the winter shit. And it's starting to pick up a little bit. People are starting to buy more sweatshirts and coats and um, you know, like winter boots and stuff like that. People are starting to buy all them things and it's starting to pick up. So my, my daily profit goal is 100. Just try to just keep crushing 100. And when we go into Q4, if we start seeing sales pick up, I'm gonna raise that son bitch to like 150 or 200 a day. And we're gonna see what we can do. Anyways, I hope you guys learned some, you know, some shit from this video. Hope you learned what brands sell good. Um, you know, to be confident in selling some things that not necessarily have sold comps, but you know you can sell. Like that Crest toothpaste snapback. Like, it was sick. It was clean. It's a good brand. It's Sports Specialties, which is a good snapback hat brand. And, you know, it was clean. It was cool. It was rare, unique. So I picked it up and I sold it, you know. And you just got to... It's gotta be ready. And, th and that rodeo shirt, that didn't have any sold comps either. So I just put it up, listed high, and got a good offer for it. You just once you start, you know, seeing stuff, flipping shit, you'll start to know more resale value of stuff, what to price things at if they don't have sold comps, and you'll be able to be more confident in you know what you're selling. Like the Pepsi Cola, I didn't see comps for that. The Harley shirt, I didn't see comps. The rodeo didn't see comps. Start building your mental knowledge. Keep hustling guys keep working it'll pay off um day in and day out appreciate you guys see you in the next video hope this helped you Peace.